Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video, this is the beginning of our building a small office, home office network series. There's going to be several videos in this, and we are going to build from tip to stern the router config, switch config, access point config. We're going to have a NAS. We're going to have a surveillance system. We're going to have a phone system. So there's going to be a lot of videos and a lot of information. And uh, some of the stuff might be, you might think it's a little scant on details. We are going to have a, uh, a class and an on-demand training where you can learn about the more in-depth details of, of some of these things. So that is coming up. So Real quick, let's take a look at the gear, uh, and I have a spreadsheet where we're going to track all this. I'll turn it into a Google spreadsheet for the next video, but let's talk about the uh, equipment that we're going to use in this in this particular build. We're going to do many of these builds this year. So this the first build is going to be Grandstream, um, everything except for the NAS, and uh, the surveillance camera will be uh, Grandstream. But this is the GWN 7002 or I'm sorry, uh, this is this is the 7001. The one, the router that we're going to use is the 7002. It's got the two SFP ports. So this is our router that we're going to use. The switch that we're going to use in this, and unless we run out of ports, we may have to upgrade it, is the 7801P. So that's eight PoE ports there. And then the access point that we are going to use for this is the Grandstream GWN7624. This is their in-wall AP. You can see we've got PoE in, PoE out. Um, so we're going to use this as our access point. Remember, this is for a small office or a home office. So if it's a home office, it's going to be segregated from the um, from the, the homeland and all that stuff. We're going to have our own access point. If it's a small office, you know, maybe one or two rooms, this will probably work work out real well. So let's take a look at our spreadsheet. So for now, I've got two tabs. I've got our network equipment and I've got our network. So we're going to talk about this. So we've got our router, our switch, and our access point all listed here. And then under networks, we're going to go ahead and define some networks that we're going to build out. So our first main network is going to be 192.168.10.0 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.128, which gives us half of that class C, the 255.255.255.0. So we don't have all of those addresses hanging out there. And if we find out that this is too big while we're building this, we may scale that down. And talking about why you want to right size your subnets, that's something that we're going to have in that class that I was talking about. Make sure that you are on our mailing list. You can go down to our website and make sure you get on the mailing list to find out when those uh, classes are going to be available. The purpose for this is our main LAN, and it is going to be VLAN 1 and our untagged VLAN. So now our next network, we're going to do our voice network. So that's going to be 172.16.1.0 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.248. And we're only going to have, you know, the phone system, and we're going to have a couple phones. So no need to have a huge... Um, a huge subnet mask on that. Uh, purpose is going to be VoIP, and this is going to be VLAN. We're going to make this one 16. Our next network is going to be our surveillance network. So here's the thing. So now you start getting into kind of this des design philosophy, like do I use a 10 dot network? Do I use a 192.168? There's nothing wrong with using the 192.168 network. Uh, what you will run into is a lot of people's home networks are already configured for like that 192.168 one network, which could cause some issues if people are remoting in and things like that. Um, but that, that problem is, for a multitude of reasons, is starting to become smaller and smaller. But you can see that we did choose that 10 dot network. So our next network is going to be um, our uh, surveillance network. And so we're going to make it uh, 172.16.2.0. And we're going to make it 255.255.255.248. And I'm just going to put CCTV, and that's going to be VLAN 2. Um, and what we could what we could have done was we could have gone right after the 172.16.1.0 because now um, 
because we don't have, you know, we can do uh, classless and uh, multi, uh, variable length subnets and things like that. We could have just continued right after the one dot and, and made that the next one. Just for clear, clear, concise setup, we're going to do 172.16.2.0, and we are uh, going to make sure that we've got some distinction there. And then our last network that we're going to need from the beginning um, is going to be, and actually we, we probably need two more, but what we're going to do is we're going to do 10.0.0.0 um, and we're going to do 255.255.255.128 again, and this is going to be guessed. Make that VLAN 10. And then uh, the other one, uh, we've got to have a remote worker set up. So we'll come we'll come back to that, but we'll we'll keep uh, VPN on the list. We'll circle back to that because it may not necessarily have a VLAN tag the way that VPNs work. All right, so do you think I'm missing any networks? Let me know down in the comments if there are any networks that you think we're missing. Um, if there's any network equipment, uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna list this as we go, as we build this out. So the NAS will get put in here, the cameras, all that stuff. So we'll have a full inventory of everything that we're doing. But if I'm missing any networks, if you think I'm missing any networks, let me know down below. And if you can't wait to uh, get this video series really rolling, let me know down in the comments. If there's anything that you think I should include in this, let me know. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so that you know uh, when the next video comes out, which should be a little bit later this week. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, all of our affiliate links are down below. Also, if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. There's a contact form right there on the front page. Go ahead and fill that out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are also down below. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. We're going to start building these networks. This Grandstream network is the first one we're going to uh, get built. And then, like I said, we've got other manufacturers that are coming along for the ride. So thank you for being here. I'm Willie. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.